In this series of videos, I'm going to take you on a journey through the court cards, the aces, and the twos to tens of the minor arcana. And I'm going to do all of these cards in groups of four. So the four aces, the four tens, the four princes, the four queens, and so on. And the reason I'm doing it that way is because Crowley wrote about them in his book of Toss this way round. He, at the beginning of each chapter, he did the court cards first. He had a chapter on the knights, the queens, the princes, and the princesses. And then he went into more detail about the individual cards. He also does the same thing for the aces, the twos, the threes, all the way up to the tens. And in this series of videos, I think you might get an impression of how much my kind of energy changes when I'm talking about these different groups of cards as well. I will at some point get round to actually doing an individual visual, individual video for each of these cards, including the major arcana. But for now, this is a way of looking at these, these cards in a different way than you're probably used to, which is going to give you extra information. And it also serves to illustrate how Crowley integrated the information from Lieber 777, which is a book of tables, basically. Um, it's a bit anarchy and a bit boring, if you don't understand and get it. But it gives the information that the people in the Golden Dawn, the adepts of the Golden Dawn, used to... Um, create rituals and magic and all kinds of things associated with the tarot. Because there's 32 paths in the, the paths of wisdom. There are 10 for the aces to the tens, which includes the knights, the, the knights at Hukuma are the, for the twos, the queens are the threes, the princes are at the sixes, and the princesses are at the tens. And then you go on to the next 22, which are the major arcana, so it starts with the full for 11 and goes up to the universe at 32. So if you understand this kind of structure and the way it works, things, he's compressed everything down into 32 paths within this book, as well as giving you the ind individual kind of analysis and interpretation of the cards as well. It's extra information, and I'm doing this introduction at the end of creating this series because um, it's been a journey for me as well. There's things I found out and, and I've read this book many, many times, but actually creating this video series, which I've really enjoyed and I've done really fast. Um, I did it with no notes, just this book. Um, and it was just interesting to see what came out as I was creating these videos for myself. And I hope you enjoy them too. So the first one's going to be all about the court cards.